Hello and welcome. In this Sudoku Primer video, we're going to talk about uh, loner cells and we're going to go in depth into looking at loner cells and what loner cells are and how they're related to twins and triplets and how they can be identical twins and how they have a special relationship with, uh, with sections. So um, this is puzzle number 22. It's an easy puzzle and I chose an easy puzzle because we can probably find a lot of loner cells as we go along. Um, this is from Sudoku to Go, Volume 104 by Soap Opera Digest. Um, so let's, let me just uh, define what a loner cell is and then we'll uh, do quite a bit of um, looking for loner cells and how to solve them. Okay, this right here is a loner cell and this right here is a loner cell. So this, this cell right here is the only cell in this box that's not populated that's outside of this row right here. So when you find a cell like that, what you can do is you can look for numbers in this row that are outside of this box. And if you find one that's not in this box already, you'll know that that is the value of the loner cell. So in this, in this example here, this loner cell, outside of this box we've got a 2, 9, and an 8. We've already got a 2, 9, and 8 in here, so we don't we can't solve this loner cell yet. Okay, let's look at another loner cell. Here's another loner cell right here. And as you notice, I filled in a few numbers to, to kind of get started so that we can uh, look for loner cells here or, you know, study them. Right here, this, this cell right here is the only cell in this box that's outside of this row that's not populated. And in this row, we have the numbers 7, 3, and 1. We've already got a 7 and a 1 in here, but we don't have a 3, so we know this is a 3. Uh, this right here and this right here, these are both loner cells. This cell is the only cell in this box outside of this column that's not populated. So we can look in this column, 1, 6, and 7, and we can see if we can solve that loner cell. We have a 1, we have a 6, but we don't have a 7, so we know that's a 7. Okay, I won't fill that in yet because I want to look at this, this loner cell right here. Um, this is the only cell outside of this column that's not populated, and we've got a 2, 3, 8, 2, and 3 there. We've got 8, 2, and 3 already in, in this box, so we can't solve this one. Okay. But when you have two empty cells next to each other, you can view them as loner cells. Now we've got a 7 there, so we found that this was a 7 because it was an, a number in this column outside of this box that wasn't already in the box. Okay, I'm just going to fill in this 5 here right now. And let's look at this loner cell again right here. Can we solve that now? Let's see. we got a 2, 9, 8, 7, and 5. 2, 9, 8, 7, and 5. No, we can't. But this is a special case of loner cell where We've only got one cell outside of the box in this row that's not populated, and one cell in the in the box that's outside of this row that's not populated. And therefore, this number and this number have to be the same number. We've already got a 2 here, and 9 here, and 8, 7, and 5. So this number is the only number that's not in this box yet. So these are what we call a special case of loner cell called identical twins. So let's see if we can solve 
um, this by by looking at identical twins, we know that this this box is only missing two two uh, numbers. Let's see what those numbers are: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, and six. So this has to be a four or a six, and there's a six there, so that has to be a four. See, and because that's a four, we know that's a four. That's what we call identical twins. Now, now that I filled in this four, I haven't filled this four in yet. Now let's look at this as a loner cell. Two nine four, two nine four. There's no four in there yet. Eight seven five. They're all there, so we know that's a four. So identical twins can sometimes help you in it in a very difficult puzzle, like a diabolical or a uh, expert level puzzle. So when you find uh, loner cells, uh, use them to your advantage. Now we've got two numbers left in this. Uh, let me just fill in this six right here. Well, actually I'm going to leave that open for a minute because I want to show you something else there. Um, we've only got two numbers missing in this box and in this row. And normally what you do is you go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a one and a six. But let's view these as loner cells and see if we can solve them. This is the only cell outside of this column that's not populated yet. And we've got six, three, and nine. There's a three and a nine, but no six. So we can find that by viewing it as a loner cell. Let's look at, this is a loner cell. It's the only cell outside of this column that's not populated yet. And we've got an eight, three, and a one outside of this box. We've got an eight and a three already. So we know that's a one. So like I said, we could have viewed those as um, twins and we'd have seen there's a one there, so we knew that's six, one, and we saw a six there, so we knew we could have solved those as twins, but I wanted to just show you how they, they're viewed as uh, loner cells. Let's look, um, let's see, we've actually got a 6 and a 7 and a 6 and a 7, so we know these are twins right now. We've got a 6 there, so let's just fill these in. Now, um, let's look at this situation right here. We've got two, two, two cells outside of this column that are not populated. And normally, when we see that situation, we'll look for twins. Let's see if we can find some twins there. Five, nine, four, six, seven. There's a nine, there's a six, and a seven, but there's no five and no four. So we know those are 5-4 twins. So um, there is a relationship between loner cells and twins. We found these twins right here, 5 and 4, by looking at this column and looking for those two numbers. And we found them. Okay, the only difference between looking for twins and triplets and loner cells is the number of empty cells. In this case we're looking for twins. If one of these were filled in, I'll just put a 4 here because we got a 5 here so we know these are 4, 5. If we didn't see that that was a 5 and that we had twins there and then we looked at this, we'd view that as a loner cell rather than as twins. And we've got a 5, 9, 4 Nine, four, there's five missing, and there's a six and a seven already in that box. So you see the relationship between twins and loner cells. So I'll put that five in there. Okay, now we've got um, a loner cell right here. So let's look at this row right here. Five, nine, three, one. Five, nine, three, one. So there's a three missing. There's no three in this box yet. So we know that's a three. 
and then we can look view this as a loner cell but there's only one number in this row outside of this box and it's already in there so we couldn't solve that one but we could find we found a three that way okay so I've talked about loner cells and how they're related to twins and triplets and quadruplets and all that and I've talked about um, identical twins but let's look at this section right here now. We've only, we're only missing one number. And of course we could find that number just by looking at what's in this box already. But I want to show you a special relationship that um, the sections have. This column right here, these six numbers, are these six numbers, right? Eight three two one five. Eight three two one five. Now, since there's only one number missing here in this box, we can find that number by by looking at either this row or this. I mean, this column or this column. And we uh, we found out that's a two because there's a two. There's not a two here yet. But let's look at this column. Seven one six two three. Seven one six two three, so we can find it there too, and that's because these six numbers are these six numbers, these six numbers are these six numbers, and these six numbers are these six numbers. So you see that relationship with uh, in sections, and I'll just put that two in now. So all these things are interrelated. Loner cells, identical twins, um, looking for twins, triplets, quadruplets, quintuplets, no matter what. Um, and uh, uh, section relationships that, we, that I just showed you. Let's look at this right here. We've got three numbers missing here. So we know these three numbers are three of these six numbers and three of these six numbers. So we've got an eight and a three here. We've already got a three here, so we know one of these is an eight, right? Okay. And we got a one and a nine here. We've got a one here, but no nine in this box yet, so we know one of these is a nine. Now this isn't a very good example because we're missing quite a few numbers over here. But let's look at um, these three numbers right here. Um, I'm, yeah, these three numbers right here. I've already got a 1, 9, 5, 3, 7. There's a 3 and a 7 here already, but there's no 9 or 5. So we know one of these is a 9, one of these is a 5. We can see 9, 9. We know that's a 9. There's a 5 and a 5 there, so we know that's a 5. And uh, let's see, we can fill these in here. What are we missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, eight, and nine. There's a four and a nine, so that's an eight. So that's a four and a nine. There's a nine, so there's a four and a nine. Okay, now we've got this entire box filled in. Let's look at this special section relationship here. We've got a one four nine five and we've got one nine five here but no four so we know one of these is a four okay let's look at this with respect to this column right here or well these two okay one two six one there's two and six missing eight three there's an 8 missing, so we know these are 2, 6, and 8, right? There's an 8, so we know one of these is an 8, and there's an 8, so we can fill in that 8. Okay, now we're, what are we missing? A 2 and a 6. Let's see, 1, 2, 6, 8, 3. There's an 8 and 3, 1, 2, 6. So we're, we know these are 2 and 6 now. And there's a 2, there's a 6. 
put a two there and a six there. So that's another way of looking at, at puzzles, looking at sections and remembering these relationships that we have. Um, let's see if we can find this number by looking at these two rows here outside of this box. One, four, nine, eight. One, four, nine, eight. And let's look at this one here. Nine, five, three, seven. Nine, five, three, seven. So there's a four missing here, so we couldn't find that four, but we found it, we found it with this four here. One, four, nine, eight. Because the other three numbers are already in there. One, nine, eight. just a different way of looking at, at numbers and at, uh, at puzzles. Got the same situation here, but we should be able to find it. That same number right here is already here and is already here. Let's look at that. 631, 631, so it's a 6. 875 are already there. 875 are already there. Let's look at this number, this row right here, 978. Nine seven eight, they're already there. Two six four, the two and four are already there. So, so we found the six in either of these two rows. So you can see that special section relationship that you have there. Uh, let's see. Let let me just. I'll just finish this puzzle. Um, we'll just finish solving it by. Uh, regular means and if I find any loner cells we'll, we'll um, I'll point them out. What are we missing here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven and eight are missing. There's an eight. So there's a seven. There's an eight. Okay, now we've got a loner cell here. So let's see if we can find it here. Six, nine, eight, three. Six, nine, eight, three. Nope. Okay. Um, <coughs> So let's just leave that for now. Well, actually, um, we can find twins here by looking at these six numbers here because you know that 3, 8, and 6, and 9 are already there. 3, 8, 6, and 9. So what's left? A 7 and a 4. So we know these are 4 and 7, you see because they're the only two numbers that aren't already in this box that are here. So loner cells and twins have special, you know, the same kind of relationships. We know that's a 4 and that's a 7 because we have a 4 and a 7 there. All right. <clears throat> let's see, um, let's see if we can solve this one right here. We've got a look at this row, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, and nine. There's a four and a nine missing there. So, or I mean, a four and a nine there. So, there's a two there. We know this is four and nine. There's a four. There's a nine. So nine, four. Okay. Let's see if we can find this number by looking at this row right here. Three, one, seven, six, four, two. Three, one, seven, six, four, two. So we know that's a 1. Let's look at this as a loner cell and see if we can see that number there. 3, 4, 7, 8. 3, 4, 7, 8. Nope. We've already got all four of those numbers in there, but there's... <clears throat> let's see. There's two numbers missing here, so I was going to say we could find an identical twin there, but we can't. Uh, let's look at, let's see if we can fill in these numbers right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is four and a six. There's four and six right there, so four, six. Okay. Now let's look at this again. <clears throat> I think we have an identi identical twin situation here now. We're miss let's see, three, four, seven, eight, six. Three, four, seven, eight, six. 
So we don't know what this number, well, we may know what this number is, but we know these are identical twins now since I filled in these two numbers. So let's see what numbers are missing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two and five are missing here. And that's a five. There's a five right there. So we know that's a two, so we know, therefore, that's a two. Two, and there's only a five missing there. <clears throat> okay. I think you got the idea now. We've we've covered it pretty well. Um, we've only got two numbers left, so let's look at this row right here and see if we can find this as a loner cell. Six, seven, three. Six, seven, three. That's a seven. And the other three numbers here should be four, eight, and nine. Four, eight, and nine. Okay, so we got a 7 there. And then we could look at any of these rows. This one, I mean, any of the, either of these two columns, or these, or these, to find this number. 915347. 915347. So that's a 5. So I hope that helped you. Um, Loner cells are kind of interesting, and uh, there I have had situations in very difficult puzzles where I found identical twins, and was and I was able to solve them, and that was the breakthrough I needed to um, just to solve the puzzle. So, as you're solving puzzles, look for loner cells. Look for identical twins, and remember those special relationships that section, sections have, and that should help you um, be able to solve puzzles better. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.